A trigonometric ratio is just the ratio of two sides of a right triangle. The Greeks went and named the different combinations. So, the three basic trig ratios are sine, cosine, and tangent. And they are abbreviated like this, sine, cos, tan, respectively. They're always written in that order on a calculator, or if you have just a trig button, the menu will always come up in that order. Now, we're going to use this triangle, and we're going to put a right angle in here, and theta is just a fancy variable that is given to one of the acute angles. It's the same thing as if we'd used x, but they like to use theta. So we're going to put theta here. Now, if this is theta, we have a few things we need to identify. We all know that this is the hypotenuse, or at least I hope we do. Wherever theta is, if you go straight out, you will run into the opposite side. I'm going to erase that arrow now. So the only side left is the adjacent side, the side that is next to your angle theta. And you want to know that O stands for opposite, A stands for adjacent, and that H stands for the hypotenuse. Because when all is said and done, the way we're going to label our triangle on a quiz or even when we're working on problems is H for hypotenuse, O, we follow this little thing out, O for opposite, and A for adjacent. Now, the three basic ratios are sine is over H, cosine is A over H, and tangent is over A. Those are the three different possible sides we could be talking about. So if you look, we could be talking about these two sides, or when we want to talk about these two, we call it cosine. And when we talk about these two legs, we call it tangent. So we need to memorize these three words. There's an easy way to remember it. So all you'll need for the quiz, essentially, is everything that you see on this screen right now, up to hypotenuse. Some of you know Sokotoa, and that's how you remember what sine is, what cosine is, that's great if you already know it. If you don't, we're going to use what I used as a child. O over H, A over H, and O over A. The way that you can remember these is just to remember this sentence. Oh, heck, another hour of algebra. If you can just remember that one sentence, you will always be able to label sine, cosine, and tangent. So I'll see you in class, review this the day before, and good luck on the quiz.